Okay, so today in the R&D lab, we are mixing up a small batch of our WaterClear WC782. This is a, a very clear, rigid urethane that uh, has about a 15 minute working time. So what we're gonna be doing today is showing the vacuum degassing process. Now with all of the BJB materials that we have, the water clears are the least forgiving of visually seeing air bubbles trapped after mixing. When you mix any two part material in A and B, invariably you will mix in air bubbles. If you don't vacuum degas the material and remove those air bubbles, you will end up with a carbonated soda look as opposed to a nice clear cast system. All right, so we've got our mixed material ready to put in the vacuum chamber. And I'll start the vacuum. So what you'll see at first is a large amount of air starting to create more or less a foam. And this is basically the expansion of all those tiny, tiny air bubbles into large air bubbles. And then a majority of those bigger bubbles pop immediately and then you'll start seeing more and more small, tiny bubbles. We're gonna end up pulling vacuum for roughly about a minute, maybe a minute and a half at the most. You'll see the bubbles start to dissipate so there'll be fewer and fewer bubbles. But interestingly enough, you won't actually see the material just go completely flat. You'll see small amounts of bubbles here and there. And that is basically microscopic air pulling mostly from like the porosity of the cup itself, or maybe, you know, a little bit of uh, moisture and other maybe small uh, microscopic air that we can't really detect. So it will continue to pull air bubbles from just almost out of nothing. We won't pull vacuum until we see absolutely nothing because then the material will eventually just go off and gel in the thing. So we're gonna, we'll stop pulling vacuum when we realize that the amount of air bubbles has stopped decreasing. And uh, that's looking pretty good right there. There's a few bubbles still popping, but there's really nothing we can do about that because it's literally pulling it from the plastic cup. And we're at about 29 inches of mercury. All right, I'm gonna turn off the pump here. Slowly let the air back in and you'll see any of those small bubbles you saw magically disappear. Okay, so now we have our clear urethane that has been vacuum degassed and we're gonna pour it into our mold. The technique to pouring this is to try to limit the amount of air that we might accidentally introduce as the material flows. If we get too aggressive or pour it too fast or pour it from too high, you will uh, invariably cause a turbulence and the, you'll see some air bubbles kind of form just from that. Okay, and on this last pour, this mixture has literally just been mixed in the cup and not degassed. And we're gonna show the difference between a pour that has been vacuum degassed properly and one that has had no vacuum degassing on. And you'll see the huge difference in the amount of air trapped in the materials. Okay, so we've allowed these two water clear castings to cure overnight, and we're gonna show the demold process here. So the first one we're gonna demold is the face that we actually did pull vacuum on the, uh, the mixed material. So there's the first one, it's beautiful looking, no air bubbles. And then this is the second casting with the material just mixed and poured with no vacuum degassing on it. So let me pop this out. All right, and this one is loaded with air bubbles. So basically, you can see that pulling a vacuum clearly makes a huge difference. And not pulling vacuum, this is basically the look you're gonna expect. Now, uh, another option for this is, obviously comes into the casting process is uh, potentially pressure casting. So what that does is instead of actually extracting the air bubbles out, like this process here, vacuum degassing, you would put it into a pressure tank and the pressure would squeeze the bubbles down. So 
in theory, they'd be so small they wouldn't be visible anymore. But the problem is sometimes pressure doesn't get all of the bubbles. Um, it does a pretty good job. So a lot of people will do a combination of vacuum plus pressure to make sure there are just no bubbles whatsoever. But as you can see right here, the uh, just the vacuum degassing itself, basically unless we accidentally put any air bubbles into it during the casting process, this thing literally has no air bubbles. It looks beautiful. And then uh, this one over here, some people in the art industry, in the art world, they like the organic nature of the bubbles. It makes it look a little bit more um, interesting in some cases. So there you go. That is uh, showing vacuum degassing versus no vacuum degassing.